بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم قل هو الله أحد Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My brothers and sisters, welcome to another episode of Only Allah, where we talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. We talk about what it means to truly single him out in all that he deserves, and some of the things that can potentially nullify our tawheed of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, different aspects of shirk. Today, I want to talk about what it truly means to rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is something you often hear about. Have tawakkul, trust Allah, rely upon Allah, in Allah we trust. But what does that truly mean and how does that manifest itself in our daily lives? Now, Allah says in the Quran, Is Allah not enough, sufficient for his servant? And the answer of course is yes, Allah is enough for us as a protector, as one that can save us, that can aid us, that can give us, that can provide for us. Allah is always enough for us. Allah is all that we need. But what is incumbent upon us, what we have to believe is that that is truly a fact. Allow me to give you an example. Imagine someone was about to lunge at you with a knife. You, some part of you would probably be scared, be worried, want to defend yourself. Now imagine if there were several security guards behind you or even an army. Would you feel fearful of just one lone person trying to lunge at you with a knife? No, you'd be fully reliant on the people that are protecting you. If we truly understood that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is our protector, then our lives would completely change. The things we worry about, the things we become scared of, will completely change because you are reliant on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. There's no doubt in my mind that you already believe Allah is the most powerful. Allah is more powerful than an army, than a security guard, than anything. So why is it then that we don't find that uh, tawakkul in ourselves, that trust, that reliance, that everything is going to be okay as long as you leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, this could manifest itself during a job interview, or a marriage proposal, or when you are actually being attacked, or any number of things in your life where you need that sense of reliance from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And a lot of people, they misunderstand this, they think, well, well, does that mean that I will always be protected and I will always get what I want. No, not necessarily. Now what we want is that when we say we only truly rely upon Allah Almighty, this is a belief that true power, true might, true benefit only comes from Allah. Allah is the one that can protect you. Allah is the one that can save you. Allah is the one that can allow you whatever that is the thing that, you're, that you want. This is what it means to rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So next time when you go to your medicine cabinet and you grab some paracetamol or some aspirin or some ibuprofen because you're feeling sick, do not ever associate the healing with the medicine, nor the protection with the security guard, nor the provision with the job. You are associated always with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone because if it wasn't for Allah, you would not get any benefit. And if it isn't for Allah, no one can harm you. This is exactly what the Prophet ﷺ taught Abdullah ibn Abbas. When he said to him, Oh my beloved boy, Ya Ghulam. And he taught him, he said, If the whole of mankind and all of jinn came together to harm you, they will not be able to do so if Allah doesn't allow them. And if all of mankind and all of jinn came to protect you, they will not be able to do so if Allah doesn't allow it. In the end, we rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for everything. Allow me to give you an example. Prophet Hud alayhi salatu wasalam, he was sent to a people and they rejected him and they were idol worshippers. And he said to them, Inni bari mimma tushrikun. He said, I am free from that which you associate Allah with, from all of your idols, I am free from that. And then he said to them, Fakiduni jami'a. All of you, Go on and plot against me. Plot against me. He wasn't afraid of them. Why wasn't he afraid of them? He said, Inni tawakkaltu ala Allahi rabbi wa rabbukum. I rely upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trust him, your Lord and my Lord. Inni tawakkaltu ala Allahi rabbi wa rabbukum. There you learn something, which is that the prophets, although they were in extremely hostile situations, often by themselves, they had full reliance on Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And if you have similar reliance, or if you have that type of reliance upon Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, your life will become easier. 
The Prophet promised us that. And that is something that happens in here. Where you disassociate with the means. I didn't say abandon. You don't abandon the means. You still need to go to that job interview. You still need to apply for that job. You still need to do well in your tests and your exams. You still need to consume that medicine or visit the doctor. But you disassociate yourself in your heart by relying on those things and rather rely upon Allah. Put your trust in Allah. Understand that it all comes from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When that happens, there's a change that happens inside of you. All of a sudden, you become less fearful of this world and everything in it because you have Allah. All of a sudden, you become more appreciative of what Allah gives you because after that surgery, when you wake up, you don't rush to thank the doctor before you thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. When you feel better, you remember, it is Allah that gave me this. It is Allah whom I relied upon, trusted upon, and it is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that provided for me. This is what it means to truly have tawakkul. And we only have tawakkul in Allah. Barakallahu feekum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Qul huwa Allahu ahad.